In this video, we will see the layout and programming flow of the routinely programmed adverse events by system organ class and preferred terms table. We will first see the layout of this table. In a clinical trial, adverse events experienced by the participants are collected. The reported terms may vary slightly from one person to other person but may represent the same medical condition. So, a standard dictionary like Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities, which is MEDRA, is used to translate the reported terms into standard medical terminology. And it is also used to identify the primary body system affected. The standardized term is called preferred term and is stored in a variable called AET code as per CDISC SGTM standard. Primary body system impacted is stored in a variable named AEBOTSYS. To ascertain the safety of the subjects, reviewers of the clinical trial data request a table summarizing the events experienced by subjects across different treatment groups within each system organ class level. In this table, a row is presented for each system organ class and preferred term and treatments are presented as columns. The table generally contains three sections. In the first section, overall number of subjects experiencing at least one event of interest is presented. In the second section, the affected system organ classes are summarized. And in the third section, individual preferred terms within each SOC are summarized. The events are summarized in terms of number of subjects, percentage of subjects, and Percentages are generally calculated based on the number of subjects in the corresponding treatment group. We will now see the programming flow for this table. First, we need to get the number of subjects in each treatment into a data set. This can be achieved using either PROC frequency or PROC SQL. As there can be no subjects in a specific subset population, it is a good practice to create all possible levels of treatments in a dummy dataset and merge with actual treatment total so that downstream processing becomes easy and zero counts can be presented. We also need to create macro variables to hold the treatment totals present in the column headers of the report. This can be achieved either using PROC SQL into clause or calls input X of data. We then get the summary statistics required for the table body. We can get the counts for the first section by grouping the counts at treatment level. We can get these counts using a procedure like PROC frequency or PROC SQL. We then get the counts for second section by grouping the counts at treatment and body system level. This again can be obtained using a procedure like frequency or PROC SQL. We then get the counts for the third section by grouping the counts at treatment, preferred term and SOC level. We can get these counts using procedure like PROC SQL. We then need to combine the counts for the first, second and third sections. This can be achieved using a data step on a set statement by appending these three data sets. We then process further to populate zero counts of events which are not present in a specific treatment. This can be achieved by fetching a unique list of preferred terms within each SOC and creating a row for each treatment for each SOC and preferred term. This can then be merged with actual counts to populate zero counts for an event which is absent in a treatment. We then need to calculate percentages and concatenate the counts and percentages together. We can achieve this by merging treatment totals to the event counts at treatment level and then calculate percentages and concatenate it with counts to create a single variable. We then create a single variable to present different levels and add appropriate indication to the indentation to the indicate the level. We then need to restructure the data such that a separate column is created for each treatment. This can be achieved using PROC transpose. And then we generate the report using PROC report. 
That completes a brief description of the layout and programming flow of the routinely programmed adverse events by system organ class and preferred terms table. Thank you for watching and keep learning.